Hi, Liz Larson here, back with some cake decorating basics. So today I'm going to show you some things you can do with a number one writer. I've already got it put in just a paper bag here. So you guys ready? So I'm using the number one writer in a bag, but just so you know, you could actually do the same thing with a bag and just cut off the tip. So if you happen to be on a deserted island and only had one tip or had no tips, you could still decorate a cake. So I'm going to use my number four writer to do a reverse shell. I could do a straight shell. I can do an emotion. I could do a double reverse shell. Pretty much anything you can do with your star tip, you can do with a writer. I can do a larger loop. I can even do a zigzag, very, very basic. So there's a million borders you can do, you can use for top and bottom. I wanna show you something a little fancier that you can do with a writer. Now we're working on the side of the cake and I wanna show you how to do something that can be very simple or very elaborate. We're gonna start with just a wave motion here on the side. And now I'm going to start to fill it in. I'm going to add to that. I'm going to go on top of that. I'm going to add some more here. Now you can see this could keep going on and on and on. Or it can be very simple. You can add leaves. You can add a million things. So a couple of other quick things that you can do on the side. This one takes very little skill, but polka dots. Polka dots on the side of the cake are really pretty. The other thing you can do is hearts. Heart is basically two straight shells together. And then, of course, we can do a little Cornelli lace. Of course, then there's the obvious one, which is writing. And there you go. You really could decorate a whole cake with nothing but a number one writer. I hope you had fun learning about some things you can do with a number four writing tip. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.